All right, this is Mr. Anger, and we are doing <laughs> physical science 1119. I think this is the last video for this pace, and uh, this one is going to be about the step up and step down transformer. If you go to page 28 in your pace, second to the last page, you'll see a diagram that uh, looks like this. And uh, you'll notice that there's coils over here and coils over here. And it tells us that uh, there's a relationship between the coils on this side and this side. If there's fewer on the left and more coils on the right, it's called a step up transformer. Now they don't have a picture here of a step down transformer, but it goes the opposite way with more coils um, on the left versus the right. The left is called the primary and the right the secondary. Let's talk about um, just an illustration here that I just made up, okay? And I want you to notice something here, and, and they'll always give us, thankfully, a, uh, an even number that we're going to use. In this case, the relationship between 6 and 24 is that I would have to multiply 6 times 4. So I'm going to put a big 4 in the middle here. And 6 times 4 would give me the 24 loops. Now we're going to use that fact because on the top, the voltage, because we're stepping up, is going to get multiplied by that factor. Okay? So you use the loops to help you figure out what that factor is. Because I know it's 4 here and I know the voltage here is 5, I'm going to multiply 5 times 4 to get... 20, okay, so 20 volts. So the voltage has been stepped up. At the same time, the amperage or the current is being stepped down, okay? So this transformer um, is going to take the amperage, and we're going to still use the factor of 4, but this time on the bottom we're dividing by the 4. So I'm starting with 12 amps, divide by 4, and I end up with 3 amps over here. <clears throat> this is what happens coming out of power plants, and I think the PACE talks about this, is that leaving the power plant, they go through a transformer that takes the voltage and steps it up to a high voltage, but reduces the amperage to a much lower amperage, sends the electricity out over the wires, and then at the homes, the opposite happens, where it gets reversed and goes from a high voltage down to the normal voltage that you need in your neighborhood. All right, so we're going to do this one now as a step down. Notice it goes from 12 to 4. So I'm going to put a 3 in the middle. So that's our factor, 3. We use the loops to help us determine the factors. Because I'm going from 9 volts and I'm stepping down, all right, we always go from left to right, so 12 steps down to 4 by a factor of 3. So 9 divided by 3 would be 3 amps, okay? So I'll put 3A there. But the opposite then happens to the voltage. Since the amps step down, the voltage picks up. So I'm going to use the same factor here now and take the 6 amps times a factor of 3, so the, I did that wrong, this appears volts, sorry. So this becomes 18 amps, okay. 16 amps, 18 amps on the bottom, 3 volts on the top. So the voltage gets stepped down, the amps get stepped up by this type. Now I want you to take your pace and look at um, page U, and I want you specifically to look at question 68. And uh, the way it's worded is, I think, a little confusing to students. <clears throat> it says the primary coil with five loops is connected to six 1.5 volt batteries and a secondary coil of 25 loops. All right, let's stop right there. So what is the factor going from left to right? Okay, so we'll put that right in here. And we'll notice that it is a factor of 5. So I'm going to circle that. So is this stepping up or stepping down? Well, because I'm going from a smaller number of coils to the higher number, it's a step up. All right. 
Now they don't tell me the exact voltage here, but they do tell me that I have six 1.5 volt batteries and they're being connected, and we're gonna assume they're being connected in series, all right? So you're gonna multiply them together and that's gonna give you nine volts, okay? Now what's confusing is they stick in there, it says the current in the secondary coil is 45. Now what's interesting is we never have to use that. <laughs> it's like cement thrown in to make it hard. It really has nothing to do with the problem because you're gonna answer question A, B, C, D without using that 45, and then you get to E, and notice it says if the primary coil draws a current of 10 amps rather than 45, although the 45 was what they said the secondary coil was supposed to be, so, yeah, the 45 has nothing to do with the problem. I, so now you're going to use the 10 amps here um, for the primary, and they say now figure out what the secondary is. And I'm not going to give you that answer. I want you to figure that out using this factor of 5 and the fact that this is a step-up transformer. See if you can figure out what the answer to E would be. But once you, once you understand that, then uh, when you get to the checkup on page X, there is a problem very similar to this. There's another one on the self-test just like this, and, uh, and again on the pace test. So make sure you understand uh, the difference between these types and how to use that factor, whether you're multiplying or whether you're dividing and which type of, of transformer it is by the number of coils. All right, so I hope that helps. You are now... Once you've finished that, at the end of your pace and ready to do the final checkup, final self-test, you're almost done with physical science for the year. Good job.